it's Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care, and I'm here again with Imogen. Um, she's our latest board and train, and um, we're going to work on uh, teaching her initially. I'm going to teach her about the clicker, and in the beginning, I like to use the clicker with most dogs. Some dogs, it's it's better to have a verbal marker, but I, you know, typically after a week or so, transition them away from this and onto a verbal marker, but. Thing about a clicker is that the sound is the same every time and it's for marking when they get the thing right that I'm trying to get them to do okay it lets them know that they're getting it right and that food is coming all right so I am going to the first step is what we call charging the marker which just means teaching her that that sound means that food is coming and you know food is a reward so she'll start to learn Click means she did something right and here comes some food, okay? So you'll also hear me say good. Good just means you did something good but there's no food coming, all right? So click means there is food coming, okay? So all I'm gonna do when we charge the marker is I'm literally going to click it and give her some food. Click it and give us some food. Click it and give her some food. Again, this is called charging the marker. A marker is just a thing, a sound, in this case the clicking sound that marks the moment she gets something right, okay? Or does the thing that I'm looking for. Um, and again, in, in the future, not so distant future here, I will transition away from this and onto a verbal marker. And I use yes as the verbal marker that means you did that right and here comes food, okay? So I'm just gonna click and give her some food. So. As we discussed in the, her intro video, she is a little nervous of things, so that, that click kind of freaked her out a little bit. So I'm just holding it a little closer to me to kind of um, soften the sound of it. But every time I click it, I'm gonna give her some food. And she's gonna learn that that sound means food is coming. Again, this is just getting her knowing that that sound means, you know, food will follow. because of COVID and um, so that's gonna you know we're gonna help her with that by exposing her to a lot of things as many as we can while she's here now at first we're just gonna be working you know inside and out in the yard um, but eventually in a couple weeks we'll, we'll start or less depending on how she's doing we'll start taking her out places to different places and working with her on the training that we've been working with her on here. Let's go. Good. Good. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. When she hears that sound, I want her to look like, where's the food? So now 
now I'm gonna work with her on the kennel because I want to be able to click when she goes in the kennel right and mark that with that's that's the thing I wanted um, we already tried using some food and so she was very timid about going in there at first so I'm just gonna use leash guidance process over and over this is just like going up and down the stairs right I'm just going to repeat it over and over until she's doing it willingly videotaping, I would be totally silent. Other than saying, let's go, because she knows that already. There we go. So she's figuring it out. And once she's going in e much easily, much easier, then I'll add the word. I, there's a saying, name it when you like it. I'm not gonna be calling this kennel when I'm having to use force to get her in there. When she's going in easily, then I'll start naming that. to a new kennel or to a kennel or crate, you know, at all. Like it's never ever been in a crate or a kennel before and you can't get it to go in. You know, sometimes you have to physically put them in there the first few times, making it happen, okay? Um, and then, you know, work with them. If, now she's not, again, trying to come out, but if her head moves towards that threshold, I would simply close the door really fast. Again, she's had training on this before, so she knows pretty well not to come out. 
But if your dog doesn't at first, they, they're trying to push their way out or whatever, you just bam that door. They'll back up, okay? And with repetition, you'll be able to open the door and leave it open just like this and they'll stay inside waiting, just like this. And why is that important? It's important because we want them know, to know, this is the beginning of threshold training. Just because a door is open doesn't mean the dog should go through it. They should go through when they're invited to come through. And we use let's go, okay? Start adding the word, the command, if you will. Let's go. Kennel. Good. Now, I am working with her at this point just on kennel, meaning go in. But eventually, I, as I work with her on the down command, I will teach her that kennel means to go in and lay down. Okay, but right now, this is just the beginning. Good. And even though she's had some training at home, we start all the dogs from square one. working on this every day, several times a day, uh, because just because she's doing it well right now doesn't mean she totally knows it, okay? And I've got her on leash. I want her also to be able to do it off leash, so, all right? So again, that is Imogen. And this is Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care. If you have questions about uh, teaching your dog the kennel command, you can email me at info at gooddogcoaching.com. Uh, you can watch our videos. You can post in the comment section. And I'm happy to help you however I can. All right? Take care.